Hello everybody, this is Banal the Sega Gamer, and we are back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, the final part. And of course, we are in Dr. Robotnik's base. Well, his, um, whatchamacallit base. His prototype of his base of a of Robotropolis. Yeah, if you do, if, yeah, in the main series, Dr. Robotnik wants to, you know, pretty much, um, take all the life form from, from, um, from Mobius, seeing how he found the island, and he wants to make his own city, you know, Robotropolis, and I'll be like the main recurrent theme throughout the uh, Sonic franchise, of course. Yeah, it's similar to, you know, Mega Man, Dr. Wily wants to take wants to take um, control of Dr. Light's robot so he could just create his own Robotropolis. It's an evil scientist theme, which you get a lot in video games, I guess. But yeah, this place is hectic and insane. This has tons of obstacles. Saw blades, flamethrowers, crushers, like all insta-kill or you just lose a lot of rings, of course. And you wonder why he wants to. Send in everyone. Which one? Everyone! Yep. My thoughts exactly. Well, oh crap, I died. Yeah, it takes a lot of timing and patience around this stage. But even with all these insane obstacles, we we barely see any badniks in this stage, actually, to be honest. The badniks we have here are these um pig-like robots that drop bombs. I forgot what's their names. Egg bombs and from the previous zone and cala killers. And and yeah, they only bring in one annoying badnik. But even then, one annoying badman cannot save us in this zone. Yeah, this zone has pretty much lots of deadly obstacles. So it's all about timing, though. Yeah, it's just like Marvel Zone. It's all about timing, patience, and platforming at the same time. And a lot of people that I know when, when playing this game usually gave up on this zone. Yeah, I gave up on the zone too, because I was hard it was hard. Not until, you know, I brought the Sonic Mega Collection and I gave it one more shot. I mean, not until I replayed the Sonic Mega Collection and I gave it one more shot. And it's not that hard. It, it's just, it, it's just there to test your skills and crap like that. So just watch what I'm doing and you'll be fine, of course. Oh, crap. Yeah, that... Yeah, there is a lot of knockback, though. Though, so... Just be careful, just, yeah, again, just be careful what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm just pausing to see how many lives I got, because I don't want to waste them all. Yeah, a lot of people end up <laughs> be wasting lives in this stage. I'm gonna take the upper route. But... But, yeah, um... Yeah, it takes a lot of patience. You thought the first act was hard, the second act is even worse, because he even has even more saw plays. Of course. Oh, also you got these electrical, um, ceilings. I, I forgot to mention. So yeah, make sure you have a plenty of rings and a blue shield. So you can uh, avoid these obstacles at, at your plague. And also you got these um turning escalators. So be careful on that part. And these disappearing platforms. It's a crazy, hectic, insane place. I'm just waiting for the platform to come back. Yeah, at my first time I got stuck at that part, but you gotta be fast. 
Yeah, again, it takes a lot of timing and patience. Ah, oh, keep on dying. Yeah, I'm gonna try to cut out these deaths, but you know, it takes a lot of timings and patience in this zone. To be to beware of all this crap, of course. It takes a lot of timing and patience to so even get past that first act. Yeah, it's... yeah, yeah, I find it, you know, kind of strange that Dr. Robotnik has to, has to prepare for all this shit, but he's an evil scientist, so I can't really, um, blame him. It's like, you don't want a hedgehog running into your base. You know, running into your base all the goddamn time, and and let's say making it making the obstacles easier to destroy your um destroy your evil monotic plot to build Robotropolis. Yeah, you be losing a lot of rings. That's why it's so hard to get 50 rings to get to the um special stage here. Well, that's just Act 1, we completed, but Act 2 is way much more worse. I mean, they have some legs up the ass, but also we'll be seeing, it, seeing another gimmick coming soon. What's this gimmick? Well, it's the gravity spinners. If you spin on them, if you roll to, if you spin to a ball and roll, you get to jump far away distances, but it depends, though. Yeah, like that. And it's all about the timing, how you get up there. But usually I don't like to spin on these rollers, seeing how I have like a 50-50% chance. I just like to run on them regularly, then jump. You get the same amount of height and speed. By the way, of course. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate. I'll take the upper route, seeing how it's much more faster. Oh yeah, and also the springs do help you, but in this zone, the springs are like your worst—well, not enemy, your worst obstacle. Seeing how they cause a lot of knockback. Oh, like the previous zones, of course. Oh, also you got mace, swinging maces, so you want to be careful on that shit. Get yourself a blue shield and jump. That's why I love Scrap Brain Zone, so wacky and out of place. And you got these weird teleporters. That's probably the only time you're going to see, like, some speedy parts in the game. Seeing how most of it is just, you know, platforming that you gotta do, and avoiding obstacles. Just like, um, uh, Marvel Zone. Of course. Oh, right here, you see all these disappointments. Here in platforms, you wanna hurry. And he saw blaze. I swear to god, they're dangerous. Heck, he even saw one saw blade try to try to um save my ass. And yes, we're almost there, of course. The final stress. Careful of these swinging mace balls. I know a lot of people died once they got to that part over and over again, but I managed to go through it like a boss. And what's this? A continuation? Let's see what's behind that door. It's Dr. Robotnik. It, 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 I can't get past this force field. Looks like we're falling. And we are at Scrap Brain Zone, aka Labyrinth Zone, Act 4, 
Yeah, it's like they put the worst on the worst on the worst stage, but they put in fucking. But instead of making another factory level, they made another underwater level. I don't know why. Maybe for a challenge, I guess, seeing how this is the slowest um, zone of all. A, a factory level that has a sewer. <laughs> how odd and original at the same time. Reminds me some odd Crash Bandicoot. Well, anyway, um. Yeah, again, you still got the same obstacles from Labyrinth Zone and Bad Nix, so, so nothing hasn't clearly changed. Change, of course. Oh yeah, and there's barely enough bubbles in this in this zone. So grab as much bubbles you can get. Yeah, that's why I decided to take the bottom route, seeing how it's like shorter and shit like that. But yeah, this is Labyrinth Zone Act 4. Oh, I want to hurry, of course. Oh, that was a close one. And we go through this vertical stairway, which is a pain in the ass because these two maces and a barrel bot try to kill us. And we're at the final part of this game! Basically, Dr. Robotic is trying to squish us, and we have to avoid these electrical turns, of course. It's a... It's it's actually a fairly challenging boss fight as a kid, is it and it's still challenging as an adult, but I can't say it's the best boss fight in Sonic history, of course. Because the attack patterns are pretty predictable. Oh yeah, and I oh yeah, Dr. Robotnik sometimes like to switch places in these crushers. Usually I like to hit him through the left side, seeing how um he mostly goes from the left side. But you know, apparently he's going from the right side, but it's random, so I can't do nothing about it. It's like a 50-50% chance. It only takes about 7 hits to kill him. Just be careful of the, uh, of the electrical um, fence, you'll be fine. Of course. Yeah, it's random, so there's nothing I can do about it. I have a lucky percent chance hitting him in on the left side as it is. And these electrical gates, usually I like to wait until they get close, then I jump on the way. And stuff like that. Sometimes they have a big they have a big far wide area, sometimes they don't. But I'm but I'm but I'm a master at this game now, so I've been playing this game for like freaking Let's say 15 years. And this is the first video game I've played since 1997. Even though technically the game came out in 91, I played this in 97, of course. And I played the rest of it on the Mega Collection in 2003. But it's relatively a challenging, hard boss fight indeed, of course. Yeah, again, it's at random, so there's nothing I could do about that final hit. And there we go, I managed to... I, wow, I can't believe I managed to get that in, in one city. Come back here, Dr. Robotnik, you're not escaping! Booyah! And I'll shut up and I'll let you guys enjoy the ending. Yeah, that's basically Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Sega Genesis, my first video game that I ever played. 
And yeah, I want to do a remaster, you know, game. I want to do a remaster Let's Play, see how the low quality was a piece of shit. So yeah, Sonic, Sonic 1, pretty much that made Sega back on the map. Map back in the 90s. This game had, you know, a huge, um, cult, cult, um, following <laughs> throughout the 90s. You know, it was the it was the biggest selling point for the Sega Genesis, seeing how the Sega Genesis had all these ads like Sega like Sega Genesis like Sega can't but Nintendo and all that shit and crap. Oh, fun fact. The music that we're hearing right now, that was supposed to be the order of of how the game originally attended. It was supposed to be Green Hill, Labyrinth. Then Starlight Zone, then um, Brain Scrap Zone, and the rest. Seeing how, I guess Sonic is supposed to be dumped down into a sewer, and overnight he ends up in the city. And then you know he goes to Robotnik's base, and then later he goes to his castle. But that would be a huge pain he has to get to if if Labyrinth Zone was like the second was like the freaking second um level of course everybody will hate it and i like these credits it reflects back on the gameplay and stuff like that but it's not as epic than the, than the other sonic games though so yeah that's sonic the hedgehog one for sega genesis see you yeah i forgot one more thing of course the low select cheat Basically, we press up, down, left, right, A. It's probably the easiest cheat you could ever get. Yeah, and also, you can pick from any stage, including the special stage. So, if you don't want to start in Green Hill Zone, you can just, you know, start from the special stage, and you can just play, you can just play from the special stage, of course. That's all. I was trying to, I was trying to attempt this on my 360, but somehow the D-pad is utter shit. And it wasn't working. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and goodbye.